Hello, and welcome to What in the World Do These Quilts Have in Common? I'm Marin Hansen, Curator of International Collections at the International Quilt Museum at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Our first quilt is this mid-20th century patchwork and quilted kurta, or tunic, from Turkmenistan. It features bright red cotton prints typical of those imported from Russia into Central Asia starting in the late 19th century. The next piece is this turn of the 20th century American crazy quilt made from everyday wools, many of which were likely from men's suiting fabrics. Here are a couple of details in which you can appreciate the texture of the velvet and woolen fabrics and dimensionality of the embroidery and applique. But what do these pieces from very different times and places have in common? Well, they are both what we might call amuletic, meaning having the power of a good luck charm or an object believed to confer protection upon its possessor. If you saw my three things about a world quilt video about Central Asia, you can find it on our website or YouTube channel. You'll know that in Central Asia, patchwork has traditionally been seen as amuletic, as possessing good luck or protective qualities. Here are some typical Central Asian patchwork patterns. And at the top, you can see that what we here in the US might call wild goose chase is falcon tail or just simply little amulet, which in Turkmenistan is called tumar. And here is an early 20th century Turkmen family in their yurt with a variety of patchwork objects hanging behind them, perhaps including some animal trappings. Our kurta features several of the common patchwork patterns, including tumar or little amulet. And in this detail, you can see how Central Asian mothers would leave the hem of a kurta unfinished. This was so that the garment wouldn't symbolically stunt the child's growth. They believed the loose hem would allow the little one to keep growing and stay healthy. Here in the United States, we may not think of quilts as good luck charms specifically, but we certainly make them as tokens of good wishes and love. Children especially have been the recipients of handmade quilts over the centuries. With them come the good intentions of the maker and their hopes for the child to have a happy and healthy life. The importance people have placed on quilts made for children can be seen in these two late 19th century photographs in which a crazy quilt is the chosen object to grace a family studio portrait and a snapshot of a girl with her favorite doll. So here's what we want to know. What have you made as a com commemoration or good luck charm for a child? Please leave a comment or photo below. And this is actually a quilt that I was part of in making. It was a community effort of making a 100 good wishes quilt for a very dear colleague's uh, daughter. So that was a really fun object quilt to make for a child uh, in my experience. See you next time for What in the World Do These Quilts Have in Common?